Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for May 26th. May 26th is the 146th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 147 days in leap years, with 219 days remaining to the end of the year. Today's word is homophene. Homophene is a noun that means a word or a phrase that when spoken appears to be the same as a different word or phrase on a person's lips. For example, my and pie. Let's do that again without sound. Remarkable, isn't it? Homophene comes to us through Greek, originally from Indo-European root words before that. Earliest documented use of the word homophene is 1883. By the way, I've placed a link in the show notes to a video with some creative homophenes under the caption, bad lip reading, bad lip reading, check it out. And with that, we're going to start in the year 1805 when Napoleon Bonaparte assumed the title of King of Italy and was crowned with the Iron Crown of Lombardy in the Gothic Cathedral in Milan. The Indian Removal Act was passed by the U.S. Congress on May 26, 1830. This law authorized the president to negotiate with Southern Native American tribes for their removal to a federal territory west of the Mississippi River. Montana was organized as United States Territory on May 26, 1864. On May 26, 1868, the impeachment of Andrew Johnson ended with his acquittal by one vote. Boston University was chartered by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts on May 26, 1869. Nicholas II became the last Tsar of Imperial Russia on May 26, 1896. On May 26, 1896, Charles Dow published the first edition of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. The novel Dracula by Irish author Bram Stoker was published on May 26, 1897. This is the birthday of American actor, singer, director, and producer John Wayne, born May 26, 1907. What a guy. He lived to the age of 72. This is the birthday of Canadian and American actor Jay Silverheels, born May 26, 1912. Jay Silverheels was an Aboriginal Canadian actor and athlete and best known for his role as Tonto, the faithful Native American companion of the Lone Ranger in the American Western television series, The Lone Ranger. <laughs> Jay lived to the age of 67. This is the birthday of American businessman Troy Smith, born May 26, 1922. If that name doesn't quite ring a bell for you, perhaps you've heard of Sonic Drive-Ins. Sonic was founded by Troy Smith. This is the birthday of American actor James R. Ness, born May 26, 1923. Best known for portraying Marshall Matt Dillon in the TV show Gunsmoke. He lived to the age of 88. The very first 24 Hours of Le Mans was held on May 26, 1923. 24 Hours of Le Mans is the world's oldest active sports car race in endurance racing held annually since 1923 near the town of Le Mans, France. This race is considered one of the most prestigious automobile races in the world and has been called the Grand Prix of Endurance and Efficiency. This is the birthday of American trumpet player, composer, and band leader, Miles Davis, born May 26, 1926. He lived to the age of 65. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with the link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include a link to my blog page that is called, no really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, 
bit shoot and getter all those links in that description Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and I'll see you next time.